Although I was handed an envelope that had not been stuck down, I've obeyed the rules and not looked inside. So I don't know who's won it. If judges don't obey the rules, who else can be expected to do so? So Liberty Human Rights Award 2014, and the winner is Harriet Wistridge. in this area you have to work with other people and there are so many people I'd really like to thank and acknowledge. I think uh, the first set of people are um, the clients are probably the most important and it, without some of the amazing people who um, take forward cases like these really really tough cases they go through very very lengthy proceedings sometimes for years and years uh, like one of the other categories today who are in, nominated, the, the women who were um, uh, spied upon by police officers undercover, um, like the War Boys clients, like the Yarlswood um, women um, who spoke out about sexual abuse, uh, like the constituent of Mike Hancock MP who um, held him to account. Um, Without those, those women and those clients being prepared to fight and keep, uh, keep going uh, at great cost often to themselves, you could not um, uh, get anywhere. I also want to thank my fantastic colleagues at uh, Bernberg Pierce, um, who are an amazing firm to work with um, and who um, have been running um, together with other lawyers, the Justice Alliance, trying to stop the um, end and cut, cuts, massive cuts and end of legal aid, which is the other big battle that we have on. Um, I want to thank uh, some of the barristers that I work with and um, the um, colleagues in other areas, Police Action Lawyers Group, Inquest Lawyers Group, um, and uh, the great campaigns uh, that work alongside to raise uh, awareness uh, and um, Justice for Women, for example, which is an organization I've been involved with for many years. Um, and uh, just, just finally, I just want to mention and, and thank today um, my parents who are here, who um, I don't know if they're the longest serving uh, members of Liberty here, but they joined um, the NCCL in about 1954 um, when they uh, returned uh, from the United States just witnessing the Mac McCarthyism at its height and it really politicized them and they came back and they felt they had to do something they joined Liberty they joined the Labour Party and uh, I thank them very much and also uh, my partner Julie Bindle thank you <laughs> <laughs> 